Well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another, you know. It's, 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 it's very hard to live up to an image, I'll put it that way. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Caffeinated by Elvis, where in today's video, we are taking a look at Elvis, a new kind of rhythm from the Madison label. So this is a very interesting record because this is Elvis without Ronnie Tut. This is Larry, Larry London playing on the drums in this show, which gives it a whole new set of energy for the show. So first of all, before we get into the actual set and track listing and all of the sound qualities, we're gonna take a look here at the outside, which is a very well done jewel case insert label here, where we have a nice look of Elvis with the cut here of the record with the Madison label there. And I really appreciate the inner lay here with Riverfront Coliseum, Cincinnati, Ohio. So right there, you know where it is. And then on the back, we have the date of the show, Sunday, March 21st, 1976. It's an evening show. And we have three more photos of Elvis from the show, along with the total runtime of it, and some nice detailed track listing with the runtime for each song, which is very much appreciated and something you don't find on other releases. Going ahead and looking inside, you have another nice disc with two more photos of Elvis, as well as the insert booklet here. And behind the actual album, we have a, another shot of the Riverfront Coliseum from the time, which is very nice to see that as well on the inlay there. So we're gonna go ahead and snap that back in and let's go ahead and take a look here at the booklet. So the booklet is nice, well done. And as you can see here, we have Elvis and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside of it. And you have a very nice, well-designed booklet with some nice, things to say about Elvis's tour as well, along with very a lot of good photos and a lot of nice color palette, good color scheme. Really, everything is very well done on this booklet, and I was very surprised to see this from the Madison label at how well and how nice of a quality this is done. So this is very, very well done booklet, and it's so cool to see. And it gives you a nice little bit of Elvis history from the show and from the time period of this tour, which is very awesome to see. And I highly encourage all of you, if you can go ahead and find this release, to go ahead and pick it up. I picked mine up on ElvisPresleyShop.com, which ships from Australia. And it does take a while for it to get to you, but it is the best Elvis dealer that I found up to this point. So with that being the case, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual track listing for it. So we have the CC Rider. So it's a very standard set from this time. But with the fact that Larry London is doing the drums on it, it gives the whole show a completely different like sound and tempo and energy to the show. So it's very, very cool to see. Some of my favorite tracks on this release are CC Rider which is got a whole new feel without Ronnie Tut doing the drums. So I thought that was really well done. Polk Saladani is very well done as well. There's a funny bit on Love Me here with a false start mentioned there because Larry London plays the song a little too slow for Elvis's liking. And then we have some other really great tracks as well, like Hurt, which he literally does two times. So when it says full reprise, it's literally just Elvis singing the song again and he kills it both times, so that's very cool to see as well. They have Burn in Love here, but Elvis doesn't remember the lyrics, but it's because, you know, he hasn't sung that song in a few years, but some fan requested it, and so he went ahead and did it. So it's just a very, very well done show. This is a soundboard recording as well, so it's very nice to see that being a soundboard recording for what this is with Larry London on the drums without Ronnie Tepp. I find myself picking to choose to listen to this one pretty frequently. I've probably heard it four or five times already at this point. And so I thought it was enough listens to give you guys a full review. So this is not an actual new release, but it was new to me. It is a 2007 release, but I believe this is a re-release of a new pressing of the new kind of rhythm label. So if you guys have the show or have heard the show, let me know what you think about it and what your favorite tracks are in the comment section down below. Again, I would have to say mine is CC Rider just because it's such a interesting thing. And normally I'm kind of like, okay, CC Rider, yeah, here we go. But it's very cool to hear with the different sound of the drums. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to take care of business. And until we meet again, may God bless you. Adios.